Mr. Brog Pipes. What's up, everybody? Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. And this uh, pipe brand I was looking at for quite some time. I just never got around to buying one. And then they were nice enough to send me a few pipes. So we're going to take a look at a few Mr. Brogs that were sent to me. So let's get to it. So this pipe brand has been on my radar for quite a while, Mr. Brog. They have a pretty good uh, affordability on their pipes. Uh, I assume it's because they're a little bit more mass made than others. You can find them on Amazon. Actually, I'll, I'll link these two down in the description. But they uh, actually contacted me and wanted me to take a look at some of their pipes. I know they used to sell some uh, bog oak pipes which I'm not sure if they do anymore. I'd always had my kind of eye on one of those, but um, never got around to pulling the trigger on any of the Mr. Brogs. So now I have a couple. So this one is the Model 82. It is a briar pipe. And uh, this one is the Model 21. It has a windscreen on it and it is made out of a pear wood. Uh, I believe this one, the, the briar, is somewhere around $55 at the moment. And I have to say, I really like this pipe. It's got a nice heft to it and smokes quite well. And I like this nice, I'm sure it's like a faux silver band here. Um, I am not sure what it's actually made out of, if it's aluminum or if it's uh, just made out of plastic and um, it could be, I'm not sure, since it's stuck on there, I can't really feel the weight of it, but kind of sounds like plastic, but uh, again, I'm not sure. Could be aluminum, either way. Uh, pretty decent smoking pipe right here, and I'm actually a big fan of it. Uh, the grain isn't super tight, but it also didn't have any noticeable fills on it for being a smooth pipe, so if there are fills on it, uh, they are pretty good at matching the color and they don't stand out. I have a Brebia that has a fill on it that just stands out like a sore thumb. Um, but uh, this one, not so not so much. Uh, and then this other one they sent me, this is a pearwood pipe. It has a windscreen on it. Uh, it does have a stinger. Well, it came with a stinger. Uh, it pulls right out for those who don't like them. Uh, the... The chamber is very small. I like can, can't even get my finger down into the bottom of that. So it is much smaller than this one where this still, uh, you know, it's only about half the size of my finger. So um, yeah, a lot different. Uh, the first one they sent me, actually the windscreen was bent way off kilter and actually this uh, band at the top was not even like connected anymore. So it was, is pretty much fallen off. So they're nice enough to quickly re uh, send me a new one. This one's fine. It's pear wood. It's in the 20, 20 to $30 range. Um, so it obviously has uh, less beautiful grain, um, more wide open grain. One thing I kind of don't like about this is one, it kind of looks weird anyways, which is fine. Uh, that's all a matter of taste. But the ring and the windscreen are made out of two different colored metals. So this one is like a brass color and this one has, you know, is like a silver color. It's kind of weird. I figured they would have had them both the same, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm sure this would be fine uh, with your aromatics and whatnot. I'm not sure how well you'd be doing with any massive flakes or anything. Cause like I said, I mean, this is, basically it's the size of my pinky. Uh, as far as the chamber is very, very small, but uh, yeah, uh, smoking aromatics out of this and nice shredded and worked out just fine. And like I said, it had a stinger. You can pull it out with your fingers out of the thing. So it's not uh, glued in there like I have seen some other stingers that you just cannot get out without like a pair of pliers and some other surgery you have to do on them. So uh, overall, I think they are pretty cool. Uh, and, and thanks for Mr. Breyer for uh, Mr. Brog for sending these. Um, 
Yeah, I would definitely recommend the 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 Briar one. I like it quite a lot. Like I said, it's in like the fifty five dollar range, and for fifty five dollars, it's kind of hard to find a smooth finish uh, Briar pipe in that price range um, that looks as good as this one does. So uh, I would definitely recommend this one. And if you're looking for something that definitely is a bang around pipe and you're smoking outside and with the wind, with the windscreen and whatnot. Uh, this one isn't bad. Like I said, it's in the mid twenties, I believe. So um, really it's up to you if you like the aesthetic of this or you like the, the windscreen, not, it doesn't really tickle my fancy, but like I said, the, the, the two things being two different metal colors, a little strange, but again, the finish on it is nice and smooth and um, yeah, definitely. Uh, Check them out if you're interested. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. Brog, for sending these along. And um, hopefully I will be back some more. YouTube has been very uppity about ATF material these days. So we'll see how much longer this channel survives on YouTube. We will. That's been an ongoing issue, but uh, I'm sure I'll come back again with you with that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you later, guys.